What's up everyone and thanks for joining me today. As always, we have a lot on the plate, a lot to get done, and a lot of progress to be made. So starting out on this one, we're tackling one of the bedsides and this is going to be one of the most challenging and exciting things to do on this whole build just because we're going to have to do so much um, that is included on the bedsides. Basically the whole bottom of it is rusted out and pieced together so we'll have to replace that. There's pillars on the side that we have to rebuild and replace and then we'll have to tackle the fender flares which are really dented and beat up. So a lot to do, a lot to try to get right and a lot of fun to have. So thanks for joining me, stick around, let's get to it. Our first objective is to be getting the fender off and in order to do that we have to remove these bolts that are holding it in. Now because we don't have the tool and because of the age of these bolts they're too soft to get out we are going to resort to the grinder as we normally do. Grind these off and then we'll just replace them with new ones when we get everything fixed to put it back on. And now that these two pieces are apart, we're really able to take a look and assess what's going on. First off, I'm just gonna set this to the side. This will be the last thing that we tackle. I wanna get this right um, because this will kind of really dictate what goes on with that because of course that's what this mounts to. So my plan at the moment is I wanna replace from basically a few inches from this crease down and then I also have to rebuild a lot of these on both sides um, I don't want to re-roll this uh, just because this you know the roll and the angle here is in pretty good shape don't really have any issues with it so we'll just try to straighten out we'll have to straighten out this bit right here you can see that's dented in and up there so just try to get like this portion straight and we only need to get, um, you know, basically two or three inches down on this part straightened out uh, because we'll just cut the rest off. Uh, that's the plan right now. Uh, I think what I really want to do is kind of get these pieces cleaned up. So go ahead and get this cut off of it and get this cut off just so we can try to have and probably this piece right here just to try to have a more clean and stable surface to uh, look at and really uh, assess the damage even more and come up with a solid plan of attack to get this all straightened out. So just gonna get these things cut off and cleaned up. I've gotten a lot of this stuff stripped off now. So we're basically just left with this main piece and then these side pillars or I don't even really know what to call them, uh, but these pieces. And I'm in a little bit of a spot now where I'm not exactly sure what I want to do moving forward because I do need to get these off but like on this one I know this whole side right here is loose except for a spot weld right here but then all this side is still together and on both of these this is all still welded together so I do need to get those off but I don't really want to cut a ton but I think I'm in a spot where, because I'm going to have to get these off in order to replace um, this just sheet. So I think what I'm going to do is just cut like right along the edge of this here. And just cut these out because when I replace it, um, I will be able to just replace this sheet here and then add in what I need up here. Same thing over here. Um, this is already loose, so I'll probably just cut down the middle here and then right off here since that's bent because we're going to have to bend this up and trim and, you know, get that straightened out with new pieces. So, I mean, I'm not exactly sure if this is the right thing to do 
to get this right, but I think that's the way I'm gonna go to just try to cut these out um, because I will need to get these all straightened up and get them fixed and patched as well. So I need to get them off. And so, yeah, I don't know. I'm just gonna cut them off and then go from there. Now that both of these are cut out, I'm just gonna have to take and get this extra flange off. So probably just kind of cut between the spot welds and get that ground off. Uh, see, cause this, is, this was the last spot weld that was holding it on this side. And then I'll just have to do that all along this back to get this whole back plate off. But now, set these down now I can go ahead and start getting all of this straightened out so I'm just gonna come down a few inches to just try to get it straight just so that when we do go to replace it it will sit on it nicely um, so for the most part this bent piece right here is good I'll probably start out with this right here. Actually, I'll start out getting this dent out right there. Uh, and then we can kind of bend it down and whatever. Uh, so I'll probably start with that and we'll just kind of see how it goes. Uh, basically, from what I can tell, this piece right here is generally the flattest in the right shape. Uh, all of this is bent down into the wheel well so you can see this was bent down in and it kind of runs the whole way. But yeah, that's the plan for now. Going to attack it. So I just made this little tool basically to bend metal around. Um, but it actually fits pretty good in this crease here. So I'm just going to try to get this shape back just a little bit. It's a little bit better. I'm just gonna keep working at it and see what I can do.
So I've gotten a lot of the dents out of this piece right here. Um, got this big dent right here. Got that straightened out, so it's pretty smooth. Uh, we'll probably still need to work on this a little bit and bring it up, but really not too bad. I'll deal with that later. So now what really needs to be done is if we take a look down this, probably kind of hard to tell on video and right now, but this piece is twisted. So this right here is further back than this. So this is basically from about halfway forward twisted this way. So this angle is too sharp. So what we're gonna to need to do is I'm gonna use the two by four and just like I've done on a lot of the other stuff, pull it over and pull this up to the edge, get it clamped down. And then I'm just gonna take and push back on this rolled piece to try to, you know, angle this back. Uh, just so we can get, if we can get this lined up, then I can work on getting this bottom piece adjusted. Uh, so that's what I'm going to do. Try and get this pushed back and lined up a little bit more. And uh, then we can move on. So I've been having a little bit of issue with this. Now if we we'll take a look at it, I get this side down flat. This back piece is twisted. So if I get this flat, you can see that down there it twists up. And I can't seem for anything to get this piece, to get this right here. And it's about halfway down. So it starts about where that big dent was that we got out right here. And bends up, curves up this way, the rest of the way. Can't really seem to get that straight. Uh, so I don't really know what else to do about that. Probably just gonna leave it at this point. And what I wanna do next is probably take and right below this uh, hole right here, uh, just take and cut this all the way down just so I can have less material in the way. And I wanna get this angle right here, that little V angle. Um, the same all the way down. Uh, so I will be replacing more than that. So I'm probably going to replace up to probably like right here down with new material. But I just want to, you know, cut off a lot of this mess uh, just to give us a little bit more room to work and make it easier to work with to get this angle right so we don't have to deal with this extra foot or so of material. So I'm gonna turn this around, um, get it clamped down, and then strike me a line across and cut that off. Now that we have the big piece cut off, have it strapped down like this so we can keep this back bit as flat as possible. And then just gonna take and try to match the angle of this side all the way down. Um, so we'll just kind of use, be able to take off and use this as a makeshift protractor. Um, so we can remove these 
and then just kind of get a general measurement to just you know try to get it as close as possible but i mean right now you can see that this the far end of it is bent down more so i think we'll be able to get it pretty close um and then just fine tune it from there I think I've gotten this angle about as close as I can. And what will also be good is, you know, I'm gonna be replacing up to about right here on it. So a lot of the waviness and stuff on the end of it don't really matter um, because, and like there's a few big dips and stuff right here where that big old um, dent was. So I'll be replacing most of that. So it shouldn't be much of an issue, but now, I think what my next step is gonna be is I'm gonna go ahead and get this thing sandblasted and then I'm just gonna to cut to the finished product with it completely sandblasted. This guy's sandblasted now. Looks really good. That sandblaster does a good job of cleaning it up. So now what we need to do is I'm gonna take and get on both sides of this, um, probably about an inch down from this roll I'm going to take the grinder and clean up this metal and get down to some clean stuff uh, just because we'll need to be welding to it. So on both sides, I'm going to do that on here and on the sheet that we have. And let me show you the sheet. So here's the sheet. I got it at 23 by 80. Uh, so it'll be a tad big. Uh, on the long side probably and I know I have to cut off a little bit because they always come just uh, an eighth of an inch big which is perfectly fine with me and then so again on this I'm going to take and grind down on the edges to get a clean piece of material to weld to and then we'll be ready to get these measured and clamped together and start the welding process as you can see the grinding is done on the front and back of this. And I went ahead and hit the edge of the other piece over there. So now I got these prepped and ready to go. So I'm gonna come back tomorrow and we're gonna get that other piece fitted up and get it welded together. Back out here and ready to get started. And this is the setup that we currently have. So we have on both of these sides, the ground piece. So what the plan is to do is to take this and set it over top and get these lined up where we want it. So we'll get it set on each end. We're gonna clamp one end of it to hold it. So we'll clamp one end to hold it where we want it and then come over to the other side and try and get that as even as possible. And then we'll go ahead and tack weld it all the way across. So let's go ahead and get working on that. All right, so now that we have this clamped pretty close into place, what we wanna do is just try to make, and we don't have a hard line to measure off of, just because this roll um, 
it is rolled and it's not like a hard edge. So we just want to try to get an even spacing between the top of this metal and our roll on this end as well as this end. So if we do that, uh, it should generally be close in the middle. Um, so just looking at it right now, I think this end will need to come up just a little bit, uh, but that's what we're gonna work on. Now we have this clamp down and it looks like it should be good all the way across. And we have it squared up on this end, um, this material with the edge of the roll and the material is cut big. So we do have an extra bit over here that we'll have to cut off later. So what we're going to do, we're going to start in the middle just to make sure that we don't have any bows um, in the metal. So we'll just start clamping down, we're going to tack it in the middle and then just work our way towards one end and then the other. Now that we have this tacked in all the way down the line, here is the plan. So what we're gonna do is take our angle grinder and come in and cut off these welds at about 45 degree angle in. So what that'll do, that'll take off a little bit of this top material as well as what's lapped over behind it and should give us a nice, um, a nice connection between these two. So basically what I'm gonna do is take and cut up to like this weld for instance i'm going to take and cut up to this weld and then push it in push this in even and tack it a few times along the way so then then i just come in again and cut from this one over to this take push it in flush and tack it in a few times and i'll do that all the way down so that's the plan to get this even um that's what I've just seen one of the best ways to do it. So we'll see how that works out for us. Uh, I expect it to be pretty good. So let's get to it. This whole piece has been welded in flat now. So it was a little bit rough in the beginning. Uh, when I was cutting it, the uh, wheel was kind of moving and growing down onto the new piece. So it's kind of getting rid of that lip, but I got a lot better as I went along. So if you can take a look at it, you can see that gap isn't too bad. So definitely really nice. And take a look here down at the end, got a really small gap. Um, so I'm really happy with how it turned out. And then so as we did that, you can see the piece that we were cutting through, the extra is laid down here. So once we finish that cut on the end, it just flopped down. So now we can go back and need to weld both sides fully. So I'm gonna come back and it'll actually be on the next video. Um, gonna come and full weld the back here as well as full welding the front. So that'll get rid of you know any gaps or issues that we have in that. It'll clean that right up, uh, so it won't be any problem. And we'll also, um, so obviously after we weld it, we'll have to go back and grind it smooth. And then we'll probably just do a, a thin skim coat of Bondo over it just to smooth that transition, and you shouldn't be noticeable. Um, so it should be perfectly smooth, should look original. Um, I'm really happy with it so far. So I wasn't quite sure how this was gonna turn out, uh, just cause I've only, kind of seen this method done, um, you know, just watching YouTube videos myself, uh, learning this method and seems to work pretty good so far. So I'm happy with it. 
that's going to be it for this one though i uh, have a lot of work done in this one a lot of figuring out and trying to bend this and get it right but i'm happy with it I'm happy with where we're at and the progress that we made so in the next video going to be full welding this and getting that ground down and smooth and then we'll be working on those end pieces so we do have the ends that go right here on both ends and that's what uh, like the the back of this piece that's what attaches it to the trailer and holds it steady so we'll be working on those and trying to get those rebuilt uh, so that'll be interesting that's going to be one of the most difficult things on this that and of course getting the fenders right but on some of these side pieces, I'm going to have to basically replace almost half of them. Uh, so that'll be really interesting. Uh, it'll be a challenge, but I'm looking forward to the challenge. So thanks for watching this one. Stay tuned for the next. Man, we're just diving in. It's getting really exciting right now. So thanks for watching. Like the video. Subscribe to the channel. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you.